Well, every day we are seeing more and more COVID cases surge in the wiregrass. As of today, Southeast Health reports 97 COVID-related hospitalizations. That number at Flowers Hospital is 67. WDHN's Allison Polk attended a meeting today of city and county officials. She joins us now live in the newsroom with their concerns about the increase in cases. Allison? Yes, Amanda, the city and the county are concerned that with the increase in hospitalizations, both hospitals might not be able to hold every patient that comes through the door. With COVID-19 cases continuing to rise and hospital beds continuing to fill up, Houston County and the city of Dothan are becoming concerned about the limited space in all medical facilities, as well as staffing issues. To help spread awareness, city and county officials came together Wednesday afternoon to express their concerns for the future. Uh, we felt like it was necessary to uh, gather here together to to, to talk about um, the COVID-19 and the state of our uh, hospitals in that uh, staffing becomes an issue first. The spacing becomes an issue and, uh, and then the, the emergency departments are becoming overwhelmed. We are, we are the centerpiece medical community for our whole region and we just can't get to the point that we can't provide service to the citizens we serve. Houston County isn't the only area in Alabama that is seeing these same problems. With the issue getting progressively worse, both Dothan City and Houston County have reached out to the governor for help. Uh, the mayor and I have asked um, the governor to consider a statewide state of emergency because we're not the only one. But other cities are having the same issues with their facilities. That enables us to um, to obtain some assistance. For the time being, Mayor Saliba, Chairman Culver, and the Alabama Department of Public Health want to encourage citizens to seek other alternatives for medical care rather than solely relying on the ER. Vaccines, of course, are still the best way to to combat this. Uh, we want to make sure that it, though, if you are in public or you have to be in a confined space, still the distancing and the mask wearing are still the uh, tools that help us to, to battle this. And Kirkland says that all county health departments, pharmacies, and certain doctor's offices will have vaccines for anyone who needs it. The ADAP, ADAPH will also have COVID testing for anyone who needs it.